Today, I'm going to show you how to create flawless skin inside of Photoshop. We're going to use a technique called frequency separation, but I'm going to make this so easy for you that anyone can do it. So let's get started. Hey Cafe Crew, it's Colin Smith here from PhotoshopCafe.com, the very best place to learn Photoshop and Lightroom. So you guys have been asking for it, today I'm going to give it to you as a tutorial on frequency separation. This is going to be a no jargon, simple guide, step by step on how you can create frequency separation easily and make the skin look perfect on your photographs without blowing out all the pores and texture. So let's get started with this photograph here that I shot of Lena and uh, this is one of my Ibanez guitars here. And what we're going to do is set this up first. So what we need to do is start by duplicating the background twice. Now there's two ways we can do it. We can click and drag into the new layer icon, or we can just hit Control J or Command J on Mac, and that will also copy it. In fact, when I do this, I normally just hit Command J twice. Now what we want to do is just put these together into a group. So I'm going to hold down the Shift key and click. I've got both layers selected now. To put these into a group, hold down Command, and that would be Control on Windows, so that would be Control G, Command G, puts it in a group, and we'll call it FS for frequency separation. So what is frequency separation? Okay, so in essence, we're going to separate it into two layers. One layer is going to have the color, and the other layer is going to have the detail. That way we can change the color without changing the detail, and we can work on the detail without affecting the color. Let's get started. Let's start with the color layer, which is going to be the bottom layer. So we're just going to call this one color. And what we want to do is we want to zoom in into 100%. So let's just go over here, double click on the magnifying glass, and that'll take us to 100. And I'm just going to zoom over here so we can see the texture on Lena's face here. We can see her pores and uh, the texture. So what we want to do is blur this. We're going to choose Filter, Blur, and we're going to go down to Gaussian Blur. Now what we want to do is we don't want to blur it out like this. We want to take it down. We want to go just where this detail starts to disappear in the smoother, you know, in these areas here. Maybe a little bit more. Just a touch more. Right there. See how that's kind of smoothening out now? We can still see some areas here, you know, like her eyes and different things like that. So we're at about six pixels right now. Let's click OK. So what we've done is we've set up the bottom layer. Now we want to set up the top layer, and this one, I'm just going to call it Detail. Now, some people call the bottom one here low frequency, and the top one here is high frequency. I'm just going to call them Color and Detail, because I think that's a lot easier to understand. And So it's just you on your computer, you're not trying to impress anyone, so let's just keep it Color and Detail, keep it simple. Okay, so what we want to do now is we want to set this up. Now the way to do this is to use Apply Image. So we're going to go under Image, and we're going to go down to Apply Image. Now this is going to be the most technical part, so pay special attention. So Apply Image, what it does is it mixes this layer with any other layer. Now the layer we want to mix it with is, or blend it with, is the one underneath, the color one. So under Layer, we choose Color. So right now we've got our top layer, and now it's going to interact with our color layer. Now what do we want to do? Well, we want to subtract. So let's go down here and we're going to hit subtract. What do I mean by subtract? Well, essentially what we're doing is we're looking for the difference between the two layers. And since we blurred the layer underneath, the difference is that texture. And so we want to subtract that texture and keep that on its own layer and get rid of everything else. So this is very similar to the technique if you've seen where I create a pencil sketch inside of Photoshop, that tutorial, and where it will create those edges around the areas that are different. This is the same technique right now, except we're just using it in Apply Image. All right, so now there's another couple of settings here, and you'll notice it's set to 2 and 128. These are the settings. What you want to see is this gray kind of look here. If you're not seeing this, then try Invert, and maybe that'll get you there. Um, but this is essentially what we should be seeing here. And then just click OK. So what we've got now is the two layers. We've got the layer with the detail, and then we've got the layer with the color. 
Now what we want to do is kind of reset these to some kind of normalcy so they look normal and then we can use them for retouching. And the way to do that is to use a blending mode. We're going to go down here and we're going to use the linear light blending mode. Now if I just zoom out a little bit here, let me just zoom out just so you can see the whole face here. I've got both of these in this layer group. If I hide this layer group, notice it looks exactly the same as it did before. And that's the point. So what we've done is we've taken this image and we've split it into two and now we can start working on those. So now I'm going to show you the techniques for retouching using the frequency separation that we've just set up there. All right, so we're going to move on now. So what we're going to do is we're going to start in the detail layer. So in the detail layer, this is where we do our retouching. I'm going to double click again on a magnifying glass to go up to 100%. And if I use the space bar, I can move around. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start over here and I just want to get rid of some of these, these blemishes here. You know, you might see little bits here, you know, like some really just small blemishes. In fact, Lena has great skin. So let's just start off using the healing brush tool. So we're going to grab the healing brush. Important thing is under here, we only want to work on this layer. So we want to make sure we're not on the other ones. It just choose current layer. Very important. And now we want to sample these areas. So we're going to hold down the Alt or the Option to create a sample. And then we just click and apply it there. So this is essentially just using this brush. Now the cool thing about this is I'm getting rid of these areas, you know, just these little blemishes here. I'm not worried about the areas of color as much as I am just the texture. And the good thing about working here is it's not affecting the color. It's not changing or messing up the color because we're only working on the texture and the color right now is protected. So you can see what I'm doing. I'm getting in here nice and close. Now this is the same technique they use for high-end retouching that you'll see on magazines, billboards, posters, different things like that. You know, for some of your family portraits, this might be overkill because we're kind of going for a beauty, glamour kind of a look here. Now there's other things that are used in retouching, of course, such as dodging and burning and, you know, and uh, liquefying. And there's a lot of other things that happen. In this case, we're just working on this skin. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to speed up the video so you don't have to watch me doing the same thing over and over again, because <laughs> that could be super boring. All right, so this is basically what we've been doing. Let me show you before and after. So there's before. And after, so we just got rid of some of these blemishes. We haven't really been going crazy with it. Let me just zoom it out a little bit so you guys can see it better. So there's before and after. So you can see we just got rid of those little blemishes there. Now the next thing we want to do is we want to smoothen out the color. And this is where frequency separation is really going to come into its own. So if we look, for example, the chin area here, let's have a look here. Let's go into 100%. And if we look into the chin, notice it's kind of discolored and it's uneven. Now these are very difficult to fix without losing the texture on the skin. It's really important that we don't lose the pores or the grain on the skin because that's what makes the person look human. So I've seen people, you know, just blur the skin, which is the last thing you want to do. Because um, if you just blur the skin, you're going to lose all the pores, you're going to lose the texture. The person's going to look like they're made out of plastic or they're a mannequin. And that's not the goal here. The goal here is to smoothen out these areas but maintain or protect those areas of texture, which is why we're using frequency separation. So what we're going to do now is we're going to drop down to the color and I'm going to demonstrate how to smoothen out this area right now. Now I know most people use the lasso tool when they're doing this. I don't. I use the quick mask and I'll show you why. Okay, so let's double click on the quick mask here. Okay, by default you might see masked areas. Just change this to selected areas. That's all we want to do there. Now we want to grab a brush. Hit the B key for the brush. And what we want to do is make sure you select a feathered brush, not a hard brush like that, but a feathered brush. And make sure hardness is turned all the way down. And what that does is that gives us a soft edge brush. Now I know most people use the lasso tool and then they go and then they choose feather. And I have to do that each time. It's a waste of time. If I grab the quick mask, it's already going to have that soft edge for me. So that's why I use that particular method. Okay, so we want to paint with the quick mask. So we're going to hit the Q key. And I'm going to make this brush a little bit smaller by hitting the left bracket key. And you'll notice we've got that ruby lift color there. And I'm just going to paint in around this area 
that I want to smoothen the skin. So I've selected it. And now if I hit Q, Q key again, what it does is it goes back to a selection. So basically a quick mask is a paintable selection. It's a paintbrush that toggles between a selection and painting. So it's a selection that you can paint with in a more organic way. And the key to that is the Q key. If you hit the Q, it goes to quick mask, Q again to selection. Very quick and fast way to work. So what we want to do now is we want to smoothen this out. So we want to choose filter blur. We're going to go down to the Gaussian blur here. And then what we want to do is smoothen out this area. So let's increase it. Notice it just hits that magic area. Maybe that's a little high. And see how it starts to get a little vignette around the edges. You've gone too far. So right there, we've got a nice area there. We're just going to click OK. Control D to turn it off. And let's look at the before and after. So there it is before. Notice it's very rough and uneven. Discolored. Click here. Now it's completely smoothened out. Now if we want to get rid of this little scratch here, we would do that in the detail layer. All right, so let's go down here and let's look at the rest of the face. And I'm going to give you another time-saving technique. I'm going to zoom out so we can see the whole face. So what I normally do is I take the face and I approach it in two parts. I take the uh, cheeks and the nose, this area here, separately from the forehead. So if you look on this part of the face here, the pores are circular. If you look up here, it's more of a linear pattern on the forehead. So I want to approach those differently. But rather than select one little area and then blur it and select another area and blur it, what I usually do is go in below the eyes, go in and select everything. So we're just going to hit the Q key and we're going to work with the quick mask. So I want to work in this area here. So this works really nice in areas where there's little crevasses and also in these areas of edge transfer where it's going from shadow to light. We want to soften and smoothen those out. So we're going to go around there. And the nose, the highlight area, we want to get in there. So the nose area, the highlight area, we're just going to select all of that. We're going to go in here. We want to smoothen that area out in here. Let's get this edge transfer. And by the way, if you want to know what edge transfer is, um, check out Dean Collins's uh, teaching. The late Dean Collins really was the father of modern photographic education. So he came up with terms like edge transfer and defined a lot of the terms that we use in lighting. Um, check out his content. You can find some on Photoshop Cafe and also on software-cinema.com. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to find these areas that I just want to kind of work in. So I don't have to go through and you know select them one at a time. I'm thinking these are good areas to kind of smoothen out. But we're just picking up these main areas here. I'm just going to hit the Q key so now we can see we've got our selection. And why don't we apply the same blur so we can just go choose filter, goes and blur at the very top. The last filter with the last settings is there. And then if we hit Control D to turn it off, let's have a look before and after. Look at how it's just really smoothening out the skin. Now we're going to approach the forehead. Notice a different kind of a structure there in the skin. So I'm going to hit Q again for quick mask. I'm going to choose a larger brush and I'm just going to gently just paint over this area. Hit the Q key. And so we've selected this area here and we're going to choose filter blur because I want to use a separate setting for this one. And let's have a look. You know, the default setting might work well or we might want to just play around with something different. Okay, so notice what's happening here is we're blurring this color, we're smoothing all of this out, but all the texture is protected in the detail layer above. So I'm just going to hit Control D to turn that off. We've got a little bit there we missed. Grab that little bit in there. And I'm just going to apply the last filter, filter Gaussian Blur, Control D, look at that, beautiful. And so if we zoom this out a little bit, let's have a look. And we're just going to look at the face here. And if we look at this before, that's how the face was before and after, you can see how quickly and easy we're able to smoothen out all that skin without losing the pores and without losing the texture. Okay, so I'm curious about your photographs that you work with uh, for retouching. Do you shoot them yourself or do you get them from other sources, maybe you're a retoucher or a designer? Let me know in the comments underneath. And also let me know in the comments if you are a photographer and you shoot people, do you shoot portrait, you know, everyday people? Or do you do more like high-end fashion, beauty, glamour? 
or do you shoot weddings? I'm curious to know. Uh, let me know in the comments underneath. So anyway, do you like these kind of tutorials that are straight to the point without all the fluff and the hype? If you do, hit the subscribe button right now. You get a new tutorial from me every single week. Also hit that notification bell so you'll know when I upload a new tutorial every Tuesday and sometimes additional ones throughout the week. So anyway, guys, if you like this, smash that like button into dust. And until next time, I'll see you at the cafe. Thank mm -hmm. you.